The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup Final? It's live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup Final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dayo Upamecano plays alongside Rafael Varane in central defence. And up front, Karim Benzema plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. And the contest begins. Martinez. And he's made headway. Well, full credit to him. He had the audacity to try it. Well, that's so close to being a lovely goal. It just doesn't come down in time. So this is it for Argentina. World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986, runners-up in 1930, 1990, and eight years ago in 2014. Are they going to do it here in 20... Oh, yes! First to score in this final! And it could be highly significant! Well, let's take another look now, and it's a superb cross by Messi, but just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish, but the market is woeful. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Gomez. De Paul. Well, no luck keeping possession. Aurelien Chouameni. On to Benzema. Hernandez. France looking dangerous here, but they dealt with the threat first. Oh, good vision. Messi. 
Varane carrying out his defensive duties following the cross. Well, closed down straight away. Well, as an official, you have to be cautious when it comes to an injury situation like this one. And they'll get things going again with a drop ball. Chouameni. On to Hernandez. Aurelien Chouameni. Benzema. He's in here. to it at the second time of asking Papu Gomez Rodrigo De Paul now well Molina well, nicely cut out Hernandez Aurelien Chouameni Mbappe denied by the keeper well what more can you say that's goalkeeping at its very best and he's fired over the corner and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time now oh, that pass easy on the eye well not great on the accuracy front goal kick here Yusuf Fofana there to win it back and he might be through here oh a save right out of the top drawer super stop and the emphasis is on creativity he'll have a go here oh he really bruised the crossbar and problem solved for now effective pressure to regain possession takes the shot very much a run of the mill as saves go well as you can see from the stats their general play has been really good but they've missed so many chances which must annoy the manager because his team should be out of sight by now chance to change that maybe on the attacking front and blocked for now and the referee has given the corner so maybe scope here for them to add to their lead Over it comes. Not all that convincing defensively. Can he convert? Possession changing hands. And that puts them in position. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and it all leads to a very tidy finish. He just guided it with great technique into the net. It's a really good goal. And the ball is moving again. 2 is how it stands. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And a timely intervention. Mbappe. And possession lost, intercepted. Dembele, now with Benzema, oh, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration.
Let's see about the delivery. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And he keeps going. Might be a chance here. And the keeper more than equal to the task. So the corner played into the box. Disappointing delivery, sailing over everyone in the middle. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Martinez. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Regained possession. Rodrigo de Paul. Molina. Aurelien Chouameni. Now with Benzema. Di Maria sliding it through. Smuggled away. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. And the keeper taking it cleanly. And Messi's incisive pass. Speculative effort. Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And into the last 30 minutes now. and now Hernandez and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position here it is now a substitution Rodrigo de Paul on to Messi well high and more than a bit hopeful substitution then let's see how it affects the match Very effective challenge put in. Lionel Messi. And clears his lines. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Excellent defending. Mbappe now Rabio retaining possession proving difficult
Everton's moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? You certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on. Well, that was a decent effort, and you just sense a goal's coming here. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And a strong tackle. An incisive pass. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Mbappe. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Martinez well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass five minutes left for play and all pretty decisive De Paul and return to Messi Martinez well the goalkeeper in charge of the situation Messi with the corner. Well, really stout defending there. Off the line. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. The pressure was on Varane. Chouameni. Rabiot. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.